All right, YouTube, I am back for episode two, and I'm going to start going through my website. And basically, I'm just going to read it to you, and then I'm, if I feel like it, I'm going to talk about it. You know what I mean? So, here we go. Adrenal myelineuropathy. Being diagnosed with MN is the end of the world. However, with a few choice tools, you can still live a normal life. Anyone can contact me anytime at lessthanrich at gmail.com. You can, anytime. I'm new to all this, but I'll be updating this page regularly. Uh, I'm not so new anymore. I've been doing it a while now. I've spoken to many AMN sufferers, and I seem to represent an extreme case. Serious. I spoke to loads of people, yeah, and nobody seems to, everybody seems to be doing better than me. Oh, well, doesn't matter. As I sit here writing this today, I'm about 10 years into my AMN adventure. If we look further back in my history, there were telltale signs, even from my adolescence, that this was going to happen. Although realising back then wouldn't have made any difference. I would never have lived the incredible life that I lived if I had my diagnosis earlier. We're going to talk about this later, don't worry. Okay, AMN is a horrible, progressive, hereditary illness that can strike at any time during your adulthood. It affects 1 in 20,000 people. I'm right, seriously, I think this number is like way out. I think it's more like 1 in 200,000 people. But whatever, they say 1 in 20,000 and can be considered, considered a rare disease. It will affect many aspects of life and prove a massive hindrance. It causes a long, slow, painful death, which can end in the most gruesome of ways. We're gonna have to talk about this later, yeah? Because it's not very nice. Really, it's just, ugh. It's just not very nice, but it's life and it's gonna, it's part of, it's, we're gonna talk about it. There is no cure, let alone treatment, and you can only make the best of it. Life is hard, but there are certain things that exist that can help happily. We're going to, we're going to get to this, I think. Like, I've written, so, like, AMN affects everyone differently, but my major problem is my legs, especially my feet, don't work. Walking with crutches is possible, but tiring, dangerous, and unproductive. I choose to use a wheelchair as my active life dictates I need full mobility. Yeah, I chose to get a wheelchair like four years ago and it, it made everything better for it. Like, relatively better, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Back in the day, I lived in Australia and my dream was to be Australian. But for one day, for no apparent reason, I just started limping. I endured this for at least six weeks and saw some medical professionals, but to no avail. This ultimately cut short my Australian dream and sent me packing back to the UK to see some specialist neurologists. Yeah. Yeah. I was living with my best mate and working as a chef at the time, but life became harder and harder. One day at an awful job, awful job, I broke my foot, put me on crutches and losing all the physio I'd been doing. I never recovered from this. Sad face. Okay, and then I talk about it, and then basically I come come to France. No, it was like ten years ago. I've been here, been in France for ten years. I'm like a third French, but I'm French. Okay, but having arrived in France, I landed 